Today, let's take a step-by-step -step look at how to create VPN server on Unified Network Controller version 8. Let's get started. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. This technology allows us to connect a client device from a remote location securely to the other local network. From a unified user perspective, there are two types of VPN to consider, VPN client and VPN server. VPN client is used to connect our unified network to another network using VPN service. This is essentially the same as the connecting one client device to VPN service, such as Noto VPN, Express VPN, or perhaps your own VPN. I won't be talking about this today, VPN server is to make our unified network into a VPN service provider. This allows me to remotely connect to my own home network as if I am locally in the network. In today's video, we will be focusing on VPN server setup. If there is pretty much any reason that you want to access home network remotely, then VPN should be considered. Some examples include access home media server such as Plex or Rune from outside, proxy region blocked content such as Netflix, access non-internet connected device status such as home Wi-Fi security camera that does not have internet streaming access. My current setup consists of followings. Unify Dream Machine Pro running, Unify OS version 3.2.7, Unified Network Controller version 8.0.24. For my ISP, I have Xfinity 2 gigabit down, 200 megabit up, asymmetric service. Unify currently offers two main ways of setting up VPN server on Unify Cloud Gateway, Teleport and VPN Server. Teleport approach is slightly simpler to configure when compared to VPN server approach. It's only slightly simpler because VPN server setup approach is also very simple. For a teleport approach, client device must be able to run Wi-Fi Man app by Ubiquiti. At the time of this recording, I've only tested on Apple platform, but there are Android, Windows, and Linux version of Wi-Fi Man app. For the actual implementation of teleport VPN, they use WireGuard. The primary benefit of VPN server approach is its flexibility. This approach allows VPN client setting on almost any device while providing several customization options. For the throughput, since Teleport uses WireGuard protocol, two are essentially identical with my testing noticed approximately 15% download throughput reduction when compared to no VPN. You just need one or the other, though if you like, you can certainly set up both on a single client device. If the client device supports Wi-Fi Man app, this is the easier way to make secure, high-performance VPN. The general steps consist of three. Install Wi-Fi Man on the client device. Enable Teleport on network controller. Link client to VPN. The first step is on the intended client device, install Ubiquiti Wi-Fi Man. On the second step, we enable Teleport on Network Controller. For this, first log into Unify OS and go to Network Controller. From the left navigation icon, choose Settings. Then select VPN. Under Default Selected Teleport tab, Check Enable box on the Teleport section. Now you have Teleport VPN server running on your controller. The final step is linking Teleport server to a client device through the Wi-Fi Man app. There are two ways to do this, using UI account link or invitation code. The simplest way is to log into UI account that is associated with Unified Network Controller where the Teleport server is running. Open Wi-Fi Man on your client device, select Teleport from the bottom navigation bar. Click Login to UI Account button. 
using credential for UI network controller sign in. You should now see screen like this. To establish VPN connection, just toggle the off switch to on. For the first time, your device will prompt adding VPN configuration to the system. You need to hit accept. After a few seconds, you should see the screen like this. You are now connected to home network. Sometimes you might not want to log into UI account on a certain device. For example, the client device may be your family member's device and not want to give them any more privilege than necessary. In such case, invitation code is a proper way. Another benefit of invitation code linking is you can revoke their access from controller screen. This approach consists two steps. Creation of invitation code on network controller, registering invitation code in client device. On the unified network controller, under the settings, VPN, teleport turf, click generate new link. Then click the copy to copy the invitation link. This is one-time use code. Technically, you can type the link to client device Wi-Fi man, but it's much easier to copy the link and paste it on the client device. If you used Unify app on the client device, this step will be automatically take you to Wi-Fi man, so you don't need to copy and paste. If the client device already has Wi-Fi man installed, opening the link on the client device should open the app and show message like this. You hit connect to accept. Similar to UI login linking, you will be prompted to allow adding VPN configuration on the device when setting up this for the first time. If you do not have Wi-Fi man installed on your device already, I believe it will take you to app download screen. After a few seconds, you should see the screen like this. You are now connected to home network. Alternative to teleport method, Unify offers more flexible VPN server setup. If your client device does not support Wi-Fi man application, you have no other choice but to use this approach. Also, if you prefer using Open VPN or L2PT protocol instead of WireGuard protocol, this is the way. Furthermore, this approach offers a few other customizations that is otherwise not readily achievable by teleport approach. General steps are following. Install WireGuard client on the client device. Create VPN server entry on the network controller. Create client pass on the VPN server. Register the client pass on the client device. In order to use WireGuard VPN access from the client, not surprisingly, the target client device needs to install WireGuard app. In my case, I installed on Mac, iPad, and iPhone. You can find proper installer from the official site. Next, we are going to create VPN server. First, log into Unify OS from browser or Unify app and go to network controller. From the left navigation icon, choose settings. Then select VPN and choose VPN server tab. First item on this page is VPN type. Unless you have a specific reason not otherwise, keep default VPN type, which should be WireGuard. Name fields is just for easy reference purpose. So you can name any way you like, and if you need to, you can even change later without affecting registered clients. Everything else I would keep default based on my keep it simple motto. Hit add button to save the change. Now open the VPN entry again. Now on the VPN server page, under the clients, click add client. This pop-up screen provides a pass to a client device. As the note here says, one pass is for one device. So I usually name this to identify the device, such as my iPhone. In next step, you will use configuration file, or what I call this client pass, to register the client device to this VPN server. 
if the target client device has the ability to scan this QR code shown here, leave this page open. Otherwise, click download hyperlink button to download the configuration file. Then hit add. The last step is register client device using the client pass. There are two main ways to add client pass and the interface may be different depending on your client device. Here I am showing my iPhone WireGuard app. On the right upper corner, click plus sign. There are three options to add a new WireGuard connection. But with Unify, we don't need to choose create from scratch. If the client device has camera and you have ability to scan QR code, you should choose create from QR code. This opens camera and all you need to do is just scan the QR code shown on the other computer screen. If the client device does not support QR code registration, download the configuration file to the client device. Then choose create from file or archive option and choose the downloaded configuration file. If you have not already done so, be sure to hit add on the VPN server, add WireGuard client screen. Now you have WireGuard VPN setup ready to go. In conclusion, creating a high performance VPN server with Unify system is very simple. This is my preferred approach of using home network attached services like Plex. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.